Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies with some added cultists by the way today's beverage is. A very nice chicken bovril, very hearty indeed. So welcome back to the game. In the previous episode we managed to succeed at our goals which was taking over uh, Chiskel, Gug and our Menace. Actually uh, Chiskel was a, an optional objective but we did get that which means we now hold three of the six ritual sites and taking all six and then completing the final research thing will give us basically an end game thing and I want to go ahead and do that. However in this episode we really need to decide Decide how we're going to go about that. I want to kill the Titan Blade Weed, and we'll do so once we've taken over this area and repaired and more likely sort of rearmed the Death Drop. Although we probably have supplies to get there, just taking the Death Drops. I'll see about that. Um, and also, we need to have a look at the north here. So we currently have one, two, three, four, five five other empires and they are a little bit fractured so the Umabund here and Sunday <laughs> as I keep calling it those are not really too much of an issue if we check this out we can see that they are both I believe much weaker I'll check out this one as well and yes they're both much weaker uh, we probably just check up from here actually we also have um yeah, weaker, much weaker, much weaker, much weaker, and much weaker. So basically, what I'm hearing is we have uh, <laughs> basically the domination victory going on here. But uh, we have lots of forces and enough to take stuff over. Because we're going to go for this research victory, essentially, for the final ritual, um, I'm going to have to take over Bardoom on the left-hand side. I'm going to have to take over Fog Castle here, and then the one to the top right. So that's Addendum. Uh, addendum, that one there. And yeah, we'll do that. Um, however, we don't have to just fight to get it. We can maybe take over one by force and then we can very much trade to get a lot of the other stuff so for example if we were to attack and kill this guy take his territory we can then trade with Cogbra for fog castle and give some of this territory to him for that one bit it means that that one bit will be ours because if i well if we try it now actually this is the whole point with the diplomacy update let's go to make an offer and i want to demand that which is 48 but i'm going to offer them um i mean i could offer them like gug and that's 50 so they would probably accept that um i could offer them chiskel and even say stop receiving tribute from them they would actually give me that to do that so i'm not gonna yeah I'm, I'm getting 10% of their income, which is very nice, but I could take that over there. Oh, okay, this changes things quite a bit, so I thought I was going to have to give a lot more territory in order to do that. Let's just see where we are in terms of diplomacy then. So we are obviously in a state of peace with almost everybody apart from these two guys here. And that's because we were previously at war, so it's a truce, so it's got a timeout. This point of view here, we can see that they are in a defensive pact with Umabund and... Sunday. However, that's not a big issue because we know that these guys are not too much of a problem anyway, as in we took most of the territory. Uh, Cogbro, they are in a defense pact with them, but only non-aggression with these guys. So actually, it's probably best for us to attack Cogbro, and they've also got better... They've got a road network, so we can attack on the road. However, we can very easily get that, and I, if I take over these guys, capture that one, that means we've got Bardoom, we can trade with Cogbra, and almost certainly we can trade with this guy to trade something over. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. That's the, that's the plan of action, so we are going to be attacking this guy. However, at the moment, if we check out Diplomacy, we're at peace, um, trade treaties on the go. I want to make an offer, and that is to, I guess, cancel the research treaty? Cancel a research treaty. They won't accept it, but if I offer tribute, they would. No, that's probably not going to happen. I'm guessing make ultimatum then. Um, basically, cancel the trade treaty or war. Uh, they would accept that. Is that right? Let me just double check. So, we want to... Yeah. Cancel the trade treaty. Cancel the research treaty or war. They have a 46% chance of doing that. I can't give them any money. I can demonstrate submission. That would lose us rep. 
and they would gain some. That would be a 64% chance. Okay, it's probably something like that we're going to do, but I'm just going to unpause it for a while. Let our fleets get back to where they need to go. And while we're here, we'll go for um, deselect all. One, two, three, four. We can get back to the death drop. So enough for a safe return. So we're taking the death drops and we're taking them to the Titan Blade Weed. I'm going to go through and see if there's any piece of technology, yes, like here, that we still have that, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this still have that, uh, that alliance going, that trading, well, not alliance, but the, the research treaty, so it's best we get that out of the way before we, you know, attack them and all of that. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Titan Blade Weed. I don't think it'll have the... I, mean, I don't think it'll have the reach, but then again, I don't actually know. So we're going to say move. We're going to say move up to there. And we can say, oh, that's, yeah, it, it, it fires that grappler thing, doesn't it? Um, luckily, we did manage to dodge it. And again, we'd managed to dodge it. I'm going to tell them to go over the top and bomb them. And third time, it missed again. Let's see if the fourth time it missed. And it did. It did miss. Or it did. It I'd either missed or it, um, yeah. Yeah, also, yeah, they definitely grabbed on that time. Like the mist are out of range, but we are, yes, in a state where we have to try and bomb them a bit better now because, well, it's bringing this thing in and, oh, good grief, it's, yeah, it's no more. I like the animation there. It, it sort of went all went on fire and the main body went on fire and all the uh, tentacles were flailing around. And, um, yeah, that means we've got a victory and more research because of that. I think we've got a certain amount of research for... For doing that, uh, let's go for probably city planning because again that's half research. So with a blast, sure, with a blast, shudder of sap and malice, the Titan Blade weed dies. Your scientists soon swarm over the corpse. What made it grow to this size? Hundred research and plus three reputation. We are currently still disliked, however, and we'll head back to there because why not? We are doing a gentle take over here. We have a spy active. Let's just view the city. We can see they've got one, two, three, four defenses and a ship, and I think they are. Oh, no, they're not building another one. Uh, let's just have a view of this city. We can't really do anything there. We do still have, technically, a spare a spare um, spy. I'm going to send it to here because that's where fleets are most likely coming from. We still have the Kraken Revenant. Oh, there's the city planning done there. That was really quick. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go for the... I don't want to go for the final ritual because the AI might get an alert and we might get swarmed so that is potentially an issue um, I'm gonna go for maybe mm, combustibles because we're trying to get all of this tier sort of three technology that would be desirable money is good um, we are able to build pretty much where we need to we can get an art gallery and we can get a temple temple will give us research also would form an unrest but that's actually not a problem let's just do that we have our um, tanks here and we can bring them across the water so this is something that we really wanted to do at the start of the series where we we did as much as we can anyway attack from land and we did manage to do that with uh, a little attack round here and then well actually we started with these ones and then worked our way along this road network essentially however now you can see this is the only sort of port we can get to over this area so if we wanted to attack are they just defending over there i think so if we were wanting to attack this guy we still can't attack this way we'd have to go all the way around which is Ugh, yeah I'm very, very, very tempted to sack off these mini tanks. They've just been a sap on our resources for all this time, but I've been really wanting to actually uh, use them in earnest, so we'll see. They've just moved their fleet over there for what it happens to be. Let's have a quick look at that. We are cultists, so we can view the city. Two fairly decent vessels by the look of it. We've got some turrets on the top and bottom. Maybe bombs. Looks cool, though. This one. Oh, oh, yeah. That's it. A cannon, by the look of it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So we're still building this uh, Kraken. Oh, we still have the Kraken Revenant. We still have our forces here, which are now we're able to repair them. So we'll go for a repair. We'll go for repairs. Repairs, repairs across the board here. Most of the rest don't actually require any repairs. And I know there's been a request to, to try and build... Let's go to design ship here, open design, and we're going to open 
what do we want to maybe maybe this one so the idea was to get rid of these front bits here and put the tentacles on that's a potential way to go let's have a quick look so weapons we can go down and we can get a if i can find it mechanical tentacles which are i ah, see they're only two uh they got their too tall okay let's open the design again on a different one we probably can't use the death drop it's not the right design the undertaker isn't really the right design either to be honest i think we're gonna have to just build it from scratch aren't we so we'll leave that uh leave that saving yes go to design ship and obviously it's going to be based around that tentacle so we'll go down mechanical tentacles they're not overly expensive they're not overly cheap either and we'll have two of those right next to one another or do we want to place them on top of one another no we'll place them like that we'll have a little bit of a gap there and it's a steam operator robotic limbs capable of smashing and crushing your enemies so what we want is something that is not necessarily fast moving it doesn't need to be fast moving it doesn't have to be of great service ceiling either if it was going to attack buildings but maybe this is something to grab crew out of aircraft so maybe we do want it fast maybe Let's try it anyway. So we got this thing in. We do need some sort of lift and we've got a large suspendium chamber that we can use. That would give us a very decent service ceiling. In terms of propulsion, we could also go with a large propeller. So we make it make it quite expensive already, I can tell. Um, but something that is quite fast. Um, yeah, maybe something that is quite fast and something that we can sort of move it around, um, react very quickly... Yeah, maybe, maybe. So let's place them... It's, it's going to be a very tall vessel, I should point out. I mean, it should be obvious from the, the layout here, but let's actually bring it back a little bit. So it's going to be a very tall vessel. Um, from there, we do need resources and a coal store. Coal store will go there, and indeed, we'll put one in there. The reason for that is each one of these requires a unit of coal every five seconds. That requires every ten seconds... And that requires every 18 seconds. So hang on, how much do we have in each one of these? Coal capacity is 100. We get plus 50 for the deep coal mines. That's 200. But every 10 seconds, how many would we use? Um, like three or four? I think we need more coal. Genuinely think we might need three coal stores. Hmm. I wouldn't have called that. Let's have two of those. And then we'll have a small coal store in... The front here. And because of the sheer amount of coal that we have, we don't need a telescope and we don't need a... a crow's nest. That's just not happening. Hmm. We'll go for... Resources, fire extinguisher, and we want a, I think, command and crew, cultist quarters, crew 15 recommended 12, I mean, how much would a bridge give us? Commands every three seconds. What about just a cockpit? 13 seconds. Not good enough for this type of vessel. These are slightly flammable, but they don't explode easily. Um, honestly, though, I'm really thinking of a fire point. I think a fire point would be worth it in this in this thing. They can explode. They are very flammable. We'll, we'll, we'll move them down like that. Um, these are going to go up by one. Put in the quarters in here. Followed by the bridge can stay where it is. Fire point can go there. Put that in there. So we've got water up there. This one down here is fine. I mean, do we just put another coal store in? That's a lot of coal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need it. And I think it would be some benefit just to keep it a little bit lighter. What we currently have. It's, yeah, that's actually a, not a bad position for it there. Like that. Crew 15, recommended 14. We don't have a way to give commands to it. 
Command and Crew. We'll go with a for a start sick bay. So we can get back crew. And I think we are gonna have to lift this up a bit. And in there we'll put in call to cell that connects all those up. Followed by we don't need to command centre, but a bridge is desirable. And then it's just supply hatches. 192 meter service ceiling. It's not ideal, but we can also run steel armor. What would that be? 153. Mm. We'll see about that. Let's put the supply hatches in, shall we? We have made vessels before with these. Do we need two? There's three tentacles on each. It's 30 piercing damage. If we were to, for example, do this. Better service ceiling. Wouldn't require the crew. I think less is more. I do think less is more. Redesign. Redesign. Yeah, I think just going a bit overboard there. I can go in there. I can go down here for now. Just move the parts down. We can have a fire point in there. Call this there. We don't want that. We do want a bridge. We do want a sick bear. And we need quarters. Unless I was to move this up one. So. Quarters down there. Mm. Sick bear bridge. Yeah, that can't connect up there, can it? Okay, we're sort of getting there. We're overcrewed by a lot. It's going to all come forward, though. Like that. And... Corridor? Would a corridor with ladder there be better? Yeah. Okay. Um, just a couple of supply hatches and we're pretty much there. Right amount of crew. Better service ceiling. Armor's fine. And we only need... As if I got this correct, we only need one... Um, one hatch. Okay. Let's give that a go. There we go. That's a legit vessel. I don't know if it's good, but it's legit. Uh, <laughs> the reinforced supply hatch is at the front there, which is right near the bridge. I don't think I really want that. <laughs> I don't know if we've got the right amount of coal. We might need more coal. But for now, this will. We'll, let's put a pin in this for now because we've spent a bit of time on it. So I don't think we need to spend too much more messing with this one. I'm just putting in a couple of angled pieces just to. Reduce that drag a bit. Oh, horizontal drag's brilliant. Vertical drag is terrible. So, we sort of knew about that one. And <laughs> let's have a quick look. It's called the Nightmare. You know what? We're sticking with that. So, it's the CU Nightmare. <laughs> Which is a bit weird. Save the design. Save. Build it. Let's just build it. Yeah. Okay. We'll see what that's like. Good. Um, if we were to attack that, we would have sufficient forces to return. Oh, they're take they've taken all of that. They've taken all of that. Wow. Okay, interesting. Um, I don't know how quick the revenant is. So let's see how quick it is. It's really slow. Ceasefire is expired around here. And this guy's at war with everybody. Oh, well, it would be rude not to take advantage of that, wouldn't it? So, quick spy actions before we do anything else. Uh, steal funds, because why not? And we will make a... Uh, well, diplomacy. 
make ultimatum. I guess... Cancel the treaties or war. They'll actually... Do I really need to? Or shall I just go to war? They'd get grievances. And my reputation would go down by 11. And that's right. I've just realised we don't care. So we will attack that. We will attack that. And off we go. We don't have enough... Uh, we don't have enough to return. Don't particularly care. There's flamethrowers researched. We're going to go for... Air Grenadiers. So yeah, they're at war. They're a conqueror, to be fair. And they've conquered... Conquered? That's a word now. Um, High Fjord. They've basically taken over everything on the right-hand side. Didn't expect them to do that, though. Did not expect them to... And go to war against these guys because I'm fairly confident they were defensive pact for a while, well, with at least one of them. Anyway, I don't actually know what is where here where we're going, but we've just got mini tanks and oh yes, uh, accept automatic result and we'll do a gentle takeover. That did not take too long at all, did it? Uh, we'll, we'll go over that one and take Bar Doom. This is the one we really need. And this guy wants a trade treaty. I'll do the fight first. So we have the ability to accept an automatic resolution. I don't think we will do that considering we have enough forces, I think, to just take stuff. They have a couple of decent things back here which we will... I think the plan is to go ahead and capture the back two defensive structures. That's probably what we'll do. Capture the back two. So start the fight. These guys are going to say move and move on top of there. These guys move and go up to here. And like I say, we'll then drop down and capture that stuff. And we'll say pause. Board that one. Board that one. And then... Here we go. You can see the crew dropping like mad. And it's to be expected. Because this is boarding. There's the bombers who are doing their thing. I'm going to bring them down. That's being captured. I'm just going to move this back here. And move this back here. Um, bombers are going to stack up. That's going to stack up. So we've captured two things. We'll ground that ship. We'll move this one over here. And we'll ground it as well. Need to move just a little bit far forward. Oh, a little bit further forward now. Because I think... I think that's a win anyway. Because this one's... Oh, that's been... I mean, it's been bombed out of existence. Wow. And there we go. A little bit more to go. And that's a victory. Gentle takeover. Trade treaty from this guy. Hmm... Demonstrate submission. I will accept a trade treaty, but I want submission. That means we get rep. Yeah. Why not? Why not? And another fight here, which is automatic res resolution. Gentle takeover. That's... That's all we really wanted. I didn't plan on... Taking anything else over. Wow. Wow. I mean, that's... It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, can I just send the Kraken over there? <laughs> if we just send the Kraken, would it work? Um, possibly. Let's move this over. And I, I definitely want to move our Nightmare over there. Oh, the Nightmare is a bit faster than these two, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. There's another Aerial Jelly on the left-hand side, and I would like to go and take it out because... Well, we know for a fact that the death drops are really good at that. But insufficient supply to return. But not too much. We probably would be able to get back. Okay. On the right-hand side, we've got Highford. And I really would like to attack them. There's grappling hooks complete. I'm starting to research the final victory. There, one. I'm going to head over to Catbridge. It's really slow for us to get there. But, don't care. He's at war with everybody. 
someone's going to jump on them sooner rather than later, right? You would expect. A little bit of unrest in and around these places. Let's get a logistics center up and running. In these places as well. We've got a port and a market. I guess can we build one here. We've got a market there. We can't build a port. This one will build a market. Also, defenses. Might as well repair them. This one hasn't got any at all. Build building. Black Citadel. This one. It's fine. So moving over here. We only have three vessels. One of them has just got stuff in it. <laughs> Supplies. Hmm. However... We also have the Kraken Revenant and the Nightmare. We know that the Nightmare's got a decent service ceiling. <clears throat> yeah, that'll do. Um, just going to double check as well. Oh, it's it's all kicking off. Pretty much everybody is at war with everybody. <laughs> yeah, and what they should be focusing on, us, they're not. Not a complaint, just an observation. Oh, okay. So they have a defensive structure. They have... This board. And they have this one up here. I must confess, it seems a bit unfair. Look at the size of that, but obviously that might not actually indicate much. Um, let's move this down. Immediately, we can see it's very, very quick to move around, which is good. This thing, again, is just hitting it. Not a problem at all. We are... Moving where we need to move, just to attack this thing. And because we can issue commands very quickly, it's really useful to us. I'm actually going to head to here. I'm going to try and get on top of it. And I'm going to say, move to there. Which it did flip, yeah. Um, is this Kraken absolutely tearing that to pieces? It really is, isn't it? Um, and this one, ground the ship. There's no reason for me to just sit on top of this now, using the weight as we just grab onto this thing. Front's just exploded. We should probably get behind this, realistically. Oh, it flipped before. <laughs> it's a flip at the wrong time. Come on, getting behind. I told it to move, but it's just not doing anything. I think it's because I said move rather than ram. I've sold it to Ram. There we go. So we're behind this now. So we should be able to take that out without any problems. The Nightmare is on 67 coal. I think we either need another tentacle or realistically more coal. <clears throat> can we still move that one? Yes, I think we can. This thing is tearing the defensive structure apart. There we go. Still getting hit off this. How are we doing up here? Why has it done that? Ground ship again. Ground ship. Ground ship. It's really not keen, is it? <laughs> okay, ram then. To there. There you go. That works. <laughs> and something's blowing up. The defensive structure's pretty much gone. I'm going to move forward. I'll deal with that one later. But it's curious that this is just... These two tentacle-wielding vessels. It's good, though. <laughs> they really, I really like that vessel. I do like the Nightmare. <clears throat> And sitting on top is just the way to go. In fact, I'd be tempted to put a keel on it to make it heavier. And just do it that way. I think almost all weapons have been taken off this one. And I'm just going to have to max speed out now. While we chip away at what is left of these vessels. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're running out of coal. For the nightmare. It definitely needs, I think, a uh, Mark II. 
It needs a Mark II. Um, we've hardly done any manoeuvring with it in this game. And it's on 7 call. So, yeah. It, it's pretty much out of resources now. Uh, I am going to tell it to move to there. Spin round you so we can tap that. Oh, it's a victory anyway. Gentle takeover. So they're now running. Um, it takes a little while to get the rest of that. We can attack Fossil Bay. And we might. Um, a diplomatic delegation has been sent bearing paintings and gemstones. It's been a while since we've had that, isn't it? Diplomacy. Send delegation. Yes. Carve moon dust fragment. Good. Okay. I want to... I want to, I want to view this first. Uh, I'll have to send a spy there. Do I really care? Can I just attack? I really can. Yeah, they're going to send whatever's left there. Won't be much. Oh, 61 unrest. Um, just because we can as well, build ship. I'm going to build a an undertaker. Just as our fast reaction force. I'm going to repair the death drops over here. And also, deselect all. One, two, three. We'll attack the aerial jelly. Another fight here. I cannot believe that is seriously. Oh, I can do an uh, an automatic result, but I don't want to. I want to start the fight. I want to see what happens here. Oh, the first two hits took the suspendium chamber out. Utterly ridiculous. Right, let's go. So we go past this thing. Yeah, uh, I, was, I was hoping we'd go there and grab, say, the bottom and just fling it around like a dog chew. Um, it, it's not going to happen. A uh, gentle take over there. So, we'll see what they've got in Highford. But it's pretty much it. We're on uh, 43 reputation. Who wants a trade treaty? This guy. Counter offer. I'll take a trade treaty. I... Uh... Say receive submission, though. And we gain reputation. <laughs> yes, our reputation is that we are very nice cultists. Not. They're bu building a grand garrison here. Oh, they've got nothing left. They've got nothing left. Insufficient forces to return. Don't particularly care. They've got one vehicle and a grand garrison. I find it hard to believe that this thing, of all things, <coughs> has managed to do what it's done. It's like, it's ridiculous. It's cool. Uh, we can probably go still at the front here. Ram to there. Come on, keep attacking. I think we just rammed straight through that with the Kraken, haven't we? And are still continu continuing to do so. Just gonna go here. And we'll just batter it to death. It's like bring your airship to work day. <laughs> you got the Kraken there. It's like, come on, son. <laughs> We've got the other one that's there. Oh, good grief. Um, diplomatic delegation from this guy. Yeah, we'll get that. And, well, to be honest, we're no longer at war, right? Yeah, we're no longer at war. We've taken all of this on the right-hand side. So, we're going to leave there for now. That's been a bit of Airships Conquer the Skies. Next episode, we will destroy, hopefully, the aerial jelly. We will also need to take over the two remaining ritual sites. One is in Frog Castle here. The other one is in Ordam here. And if we check the diplomatic status... He's at war with uh, pretty much everybody. This guy. Same thing. This one. War with those. I mean, it's... it's, it's Everybody's at war. Apart from us. So, I think we could very easily... Very easily trade things for the two remaining one. Frog Castle and uh, that one there. We could attack. But do we need to... 
I don't think we do. Either way, it'd be nice to see like more of the diplomacy stuff of it and try to uh, yeah get it off in that way. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series thus far. Comment in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.